so the first step in actually assembling our pistons is to disassemble, actually take out the wrist pin and the piston itself, get your connecting rod, and you see the eyebrows on the piston itself, that's the machined area for the valve clearance, uh, make an eyebrow. So that's going to be at the top of our piston assembly. You see the X and the connecting rod that we have here, they're going to go on the same side as the eyebrow. So when we actually assemble them, we're going to assemble them this way with the X down with the eyebrows on the bottom side of the piston itself. So we're going to put a little bit of assembly lube on our bushing. As I mentioned before, these are the bronze bushing to take the full floating wrist pin. So we're going to put a little assembly lube there, a little assembly lube on the piston itself where the wrist pin uh, goes and then some assembly lube on the wrist pin itself. So let me do that real quick and we'll put all these pieces together and again show you the orientation that we're doing because it is important how the connecting rod attaches to the piston when we assemble it and put it into our engine. So now we've got all the assembly lube on all the parts where metal will be contacting with metal. The next step before we actually put the pieces together is we've got three or four spiral locks, two for each side of the piston itself. We're going to show you how to install one side so that the wrist pin will actually connect and not go all the way through once we get everything assembled. So let's put the one side of the spiral locks in, then we'll assemble everything, then lock everything back down with the other side. Be right back. So we've got our two spiral locks on the back side and I'm going to show you how we did that when we lock everything in on the other side. Uh, again, remember we've got an X on our connecting rod here and here that need to be on the same side as the top of the eyebrow. So it needs to go in like this. So we're going to hold everything there, take our wrist pin, get it started in. Do it. And we line everything up. Your wrist pin should go all the way in without binding. If you have any binding at all, you need to pull it back out and check everything. Make sure everything's lubed up correctly. So now we've got this first spiral lock in. We're going to put another one on top of that one to make sure everything's locked in securely. But uh, that's the way it is. You just take your time, get one side. As you look at the spiral lock, it's called a spiral lock because obviously it's cut in a spring spiral. So you get one of the tips locked into the ring groove there. And then you just take your screwdriver and work it around slowly until it locks into place. So I got one in, I'm going to go ahead and put the other one in, then I'll show what the finished assume, assembled piece looks like. Okay, so we've got all of our spiral locks in. Everything went together well. Again, just for reiteration, here's the eyebrows on our piston top. Here's our X's, so we've got everything oriented properly. We're going to show you why that's important when we actually put these in the blocks themselves. Make sure the wrist pin is uh, moves freely, that there's no binding or issues there. Um, looks like we're good to go. So if you stay tuned just a second, we'll show you how the rings go on and then we'll assemble the other seven. Be right back. 